this is uh, something I developed in 2020. Yeah. During the pandemic, uh, after I got sick, I was sick for a while. I had lots of time. Mm. And I thought, I'm going to think about the mission statement. Why are we here? What are we doing? To make sure that this, when I'm not here, uh, maybe I retire one day, or when I die, whatever. But when you guys have to continue this business, it should be super clear what Blender is. So the story of Blender is much bigger than the software. Of so, course the software is important, but the story of Blender is always what we do with it. Eh? What do you do with the software? That's interesting, not so much the software itself. I was at uh, 2019 at a conference, and it was the first time when we had big corporations uh, talking to us to support Blender, and for example Ubisoft. And when I asked them, hey, why, why are you, you are a big corporation and you can talk to any software vendor and get whatever you want. So why are you working with Blender? What is the real thing that you like Blender? And they really said, because you guys care. You really care. And it's true, we really care. I care about this. I care about making great things. I care about making the software. I care about the community. I care about the people here in the business. Uh, this is uh, very personal, and that attitude you see it with everyone, and you see it within the Blender community. Because we have our passion and we share that. And that's the only main motivation that drives people. Yep, you can put your hands down like that, and then you have. Like with your other hand, you can pull on those straps to tighten it as much as you want, if you need to. Sometimes I like I just put random stuff on the walls just to stay inspired during, during the day. The rest of the stuff is just random. Like for example, I just connected the disco ball last week after having this disco ball for almost five years or so. At some point, I found it in the in the cupboard in one of the apartments I was living in, and I put it at work, like in even in the old office. And I was, I, yeah, it was just always hanging there, and I always wanted to put a like get a disco ball motor. No, I finally did it, yay! <laughs> but um, no, I mean we're spending so much time here that it's we just have to make it comfortable. Um, so yeah. Sometimes I do things like three D printing, so the um, the octopus lamp and the dinosaur thing, they are 3D printed and then just painted. That's the cool thing, like I'm, I'm working with Blender every day and uh, with 3D printing you just, yeah, you can take everything that is virtual and make it something real, which is, which is pretty cool.
een dag. Kijk eens. Kom maar. Doe wappie. Nee, deze is één jaar geworden vandaag. Ja. Deze is dit. Hè? The conference is in two weeks. Well, three weeks. Today is the 10th. It's on the 26th, right? Yes. I should know the days. <laughs> that is very soon. Like we have basically two full weeks. We have this week, next week, and then the week after, basically, we are fully preparing for it. And then, like the day before the event, we are there doing all the build up, and then there is the event. So, like, it's two full weeks before the whole train starts. The week of the conference is pure chaos. It's an artwork, it's not a logo. Yeah. So, and I think that as, a, as something to put on a t-shirt, it works well. It's nice. Like, I mean, but if the question number one is, okay, does that even work for you? Because if you don't like it, like that's the second iteration with it, like the second design, and then uh, you know this shouldn't be something that you are accepting and we're like, okay, I guess that's what we can do. That's the best we can do, right? You are not happy with this? Not super. No. To be honest, like we also have to finish a version of Heist huh. two weeks like before the conference, huh. and like doing this on top of that gets a little bit too much. Huh. So uh -huh. I would rather. I mean, I could. I, I definitely feel confident I could try out something, um, but um, but it, uh, I mean it's your guys' call. If you guys want this, then we make it. But I rather just spend time okay. on the film also. So yeah, Wednesday. So I think on Wednesday it was finished, um, and we have we have a bright version, dark version. Um, all the colors for print because this need, needs to go also to the uh, to the person doing the schedule um, so they can use this kind of layout for that and these these colors I hope everyone's gonna get one of them and I hope they don't they turn out nice please make them turn out nice <laughs> right now it's going pretty relaxed other than I would say for Francesco and Ton because they're uh, I think they're having a lot of stress right now, um, organizing everything, and then next week it's going to be very, uh, very busy. someone to help you. These two guys, they are like strong and powerful yeah. and they can Yeah. The honor is yours. Okay. 
to look and plug it with your nose first and then into one of the network ports, please. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, do we do a remove my hearing aid so you can fit it in? So we're going to do a walkthrough through the whole thing. And experience learned us, teach us that we have to do everything. Not like, ah, this will work, that will work, it's okay with that. Now you have to do the everything. Like slides, sound, streams, the projections. We do something that is complete. Including a recording and uploading the recording to the internet. <clears throat> the day before you have the conference. Because you always find out that one of those things suddenly breaks. And then you don't have to panic on the day of the event itself. Yes. Okay. Can and you please uh, turn on the slides? I can't. I will. So you can talk to the people upstairs. Okay, so I can be upstairs. So I mean, like, if you hear, then when people hear you, always you have to scream. Oh, of course, yeah. Then I will, uh, but this, this is off like this, right? Uh, it's a common mistake if you think it's all fine, but it's not very yeah, fine. How's it going? Well, ah, we, the clicker. we were missing this part, so yeah. now, now you have it. And I am getting our slides ready, because I didn't ah, have those yet. The, blue, the, the green thing yeah, is... Do the whole the thing, thing, so it will be recorded. And the recording will be checked and uploaded. That's what we are going to try. He, 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 he. They're looking on the chair. Che, che, che. Che, he, he. He, he, he. Che, che. Che, he, he. He, he, he. Che, che, che. Che, che, he, he, he. So, okay, the first speaker is done, so that he's doing the keynote. So I think that that is, yeah, we... Starts at 11, right? Yeah, if uh, we do quarter to 11, then he can get yeah, quarter to 11, it's a little bit too soon for him. Too soon, yeah, yeah. five or 10 minutes. Yeah, let's do five minutes to 11. That is super important yeah. that the person is here. He's yeah. gonna do a 20 minute thing, and then, actually, we'll after that, to. I go on stage with a uh, handheld as well. It's oh, part okay. of the same presentation. I will tell the guys from Faber, I forgot to mention that. Okay. And that's it. And then you can already have the next speaker set up. Thank you. So welcome everyone, welcome to the uh, Blender Conference 2022. Uh, and I want to start uh, the presentation with good news, because I'm still there! Yes, I can. Wait, wait, wait. I can't hear the shit from, uh, from here. Same as you guys show. Okay. Hey, Bastian. So when Tom says that's it, that's my cue to get in. Okay. And uh, the slide before is an uh, ah, extension platform, so it should be basically now. I wish you guys a fantastic conference, and I will see you around, and I will see you probably tomorrow again.
It's now six weeks ago that we had Blender Conference and I still feel like glowing and happy about it. It's, uh, it's something that will stay with us for the whole year, I think. I did get to enjoy a lot still, even though I have to go there working in a working capacity. So I had meetings you had to attend. I had a presentation I had to give with Jacques and Hans, super nice. But there was so much time in between with people that I wanted to catch up and wanted to make plans together. That was just a blast throughout all the, years, all the days. Uh, what was the best thing about the Blender Conference? Uh, every, <laughs> everything? I don't know. It's, um, yeah, it's just, it, 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 it's so quick. It happens over three, four days or so, and then everything is over. So everything is the best thing. You know, the highlight of getting to talk to people and seeing what they're, they're up to, that's, I think, the best best thing. And then, of course, for me personally, it was a lot of fun uh, with uh, Simon to play the, uh, to play the party, party set um, with music and Blender visuals. So that was, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to next year. Andy's office. The top. There's a big thing in yeah, Andy's office. Huge. Yeah. He has one. Yes. You going? No, no. I oh. go to bring some mail to the ah. to Germany, <clears throat> and then I'll be right back so we can have our meeting, right? Yeah. Hey, Bowie, look, there is tree. You usually knock it over. Yeah. Like a cat. Did you experienced the tree before? Yeah, yeah, he was born at October. Yeah, yeah. I got him 11 December. Yeah. This Sunday, one year. Huh? And then he had Christmas. Are you good, Bowie? So when he was in my place, I had a Christmas tree for him. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So he remembers, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the colorful balls. Can you give me one? Can you give okay. me one? 
Subscribe. Wow! Merry Christmas! Okay, how do I describe the year 2022? Um, it was uh, for me a little bit more return back to normal. Exciting, because obviously getting out of the pandemic felt a little bit more real. Uh, we got the chance to go to a number of events that we didn't do the year before and we were working on Production, so uh, we started to be able to be together again in the office. So it was it was very exciting. Lots and lots of things happened this year, but I always almost forgot when I'm looking at the future. I'm looking at what happens next year, not what happened this year. It's, uh, it's past, right? If I also tell about the conference, yeah, the conference is special. If I also talk, if you also mention how was Blender, it was a special. But I think the year as a whole. Uh, it was a pretty good year. I think you had a pretty good run. And we have a, a team of talents around us who are really good at what they do. And it's a joy every day to see how incredibly well they are doing it. I feel lucky every day to work with such a talented team uh, of artists that know most of the time what they are doing. We're a little bit like a family, yeah. Um, especially because, I mean, like a family, we go through uh, through stressful times and less stressful times. So, yeah. But uh, unlike a family, we we get along much better, I would say. 